DSL 40 C uh, clean channel that's where my gain and volume are at I got a uh, what do you call it like a tube screamer copy into an Ibanez smash box the tube screamer is going into the front end of the amp and then the smash box is actually in the effects loop with uh, these blue cables right here. And then it's going to this cabinet. This is a Splawn small block. And that's some kind of crate speaker we're going to talk about later. In the back I got that toggle switch where I can toggle on and off the diode in the cabinet. that guitar, that cat. All right, so first is gonna be uh, without the diodes, you can get a, a reference. Try that again with the microphone pointed like right at the speakers. Uh, right there. So this is with the diode. <laughs> without the diode. So I don't like this. Both speakers are fighting each other. Uh, it's a sealed cabinet. Like it's not ported in the back, sides, or front. I'm going to port this and maybe hopefully make it sound better. Stay tuned. Okay, so let me explain what fighting each other means. These two speakers are like... They're like in phase. Are you talking to me? No, I'm not talking to you. But I'd love to talk to you. These two speakers are in phase. But because they're stuck inside of this sealed cabinet, like, and this one's not doing the same thing that that one is doing, they're kind of like going in and out of phase. So I just put a hole in this thing to port it and we're gonna see how that changes the sound. They should not be fighting each other when they're in phase now. the diode first.
time we have a dog. All right, this time I'm gonna play uh, like guitar parts in succession with and without the diode that aren't as long. Uh, and I'm gonna switch back and forth more frequently so you can actually hear what's going on. I'm also not gonna put the phone in this bed anymore. I'm gonna put it on top of a solid surface so you don't lose the high end. All right, so again, we'll start without the diode. And I'm just gonna play like an A or an E chord. I don't know, A chord. disappears a little bit not disappears but reduces a little bit and there's a bit more like a pick attack or or like percussive uh, like the high-end percussive nature like you can hear your pick attack way better here's like an E with the diode. This is without the diode. So without the diode. Without the diode, uh, I'm gonna switch back to just a clean sound, well, kind of dirty. Uh, a. I'm gonna go to, sorry, something in standard tuning. All right, so let's tune the E standard. A chord. That's without the diode. This is with the diode. So you can hear what it's doing, right? So I, I'm back in standard tuning. Let me turn the distortion back on. So with the diode, uh, A chord. tighter without the diode all right what's the point of these videos if you don't learn something here's what I learned uh, matching the speakers didn't help in this particular case uh, that's the first thing I learned I'm going to talk about the second thing in a moment. Uh, the first thing I learned that was matching the speakers didn't help. So what you heard in the in the in this video is basically a Splon small block and an SLM speaker. There's the model number right there. Uh, the Splon sounds like a Celestion. This SLM speaker's got really good lows and kind of like crappy highs. Uh, when I tried this the first time, I used two of these speakers, and I didn't like it. Uh, this being a different speaker helped. Uh, if you are going to mix and match speakers, obviously they're going to have to have the same output or else you're going to hear one over the other no matter what. 
Um, now to the second thing that I learned. Uh, I tried this like high power diode right here. It's all, you know, in metal and it can handle 25 amps. And I'm like, oh, this won't start a fire. This will be better. It wasn't better. That diode right here, this is the model number, this had a forward voltage of 1.55 volts. The one that I originally tried, it, and when I say originally, I used this diode right here. It looks, it looks like that. Uh, it has this written on it. Uh, I don't know who manufactured it. Uh, but anyways, this had a forward voltage of 1.1 volts. So if you go to the sine wave, uh, when I used the, the diode that had the forward voltage of 1.1 volts, you saw, it, one of the speakers saw more of the sine wave going to it. When I used the diode that had uh, the higher forward voltage, it saw less of the sine wave. So this is like your voltage and this is time. And then, yeah, so as you go higher in this axis, you have more volts. So that's kind of what I'm trying to draw on this graph right here. Anyways, that diode didn't sound as good as that diode did. Uh, so if you're going to do this, use this diode. Alright, the small block is coming out, and I'm going to put the Vintage 30 back in this cabinet. Because that was my original setup, and it sounded the best. And you, we all know from Johan Segborn, Segborn, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but every man that plays the guitar should have like a man crush on him, because he's awesome. But check him out on YouTube. Um, but anyways, uh, like, the speaker make it, makes a huge part of your guitar tone. I, I learned that from him. Seriously, like, all these amps in this room have different speakers in them because it, it matters a lot. Anyways, this is how I got it wired. Uh, I got, I got, like, the, I got, like, the, the signal coming out of that output jack going straight to this speaker here without any manipulation. And then I got a toggle switch over here where uh, off of the hot post, I can either have like, you know, the unaltered guitar signal go to that speaker back there, or I can have the, the diode that I have here inside of heat shrink, uh, part of that sound. All right, I put the Vintage 30 back in. I don't know, sounds closer to what I originally stumbled upon, but everything sounded better when it was not inside of this cabinet. <laughs> Anyways, here's what it sounds with the Vintage 30 and that SLM speaker that I discussed earlier. This is the original setup. So, without the diode, without,